arrived by car at the Cotswold town of Chipping Camden. Not a lot has changed here for the past few hundred years, except for one major thing, but more about that later. It was decided to walk to the nearby church of St James before exploring the town behind us. As we crossed Leybourne Road, we noticed the Ernest Wilson Memorial Garden and went in to explore. The garden has been dedicated to the memory of Ernest Henry Wilson, a local man who became known as one of the greatest plant collectors. He travelled to many countries, but mainly China and Japan, with plants from these countries introduced into this garden. It could be said that Sir Baptist Hicks ruled the town in the 17th century, for he had built the nearby almshouses, the market hall, and was owner of the impressive Camden House. This was destroyed in the Civil War, and all that remains are a gatehouse and two Jacobean banqueting houses. Within the church is a monument to Hicks, not only a silk merchant, but a politician sitting in the House of Commons. Leaving the church, we return to the town and soon see who rules today. The car! They are everywhere, parked in every available space. Then there is the continual flow of traffic through the town. After a while, it did become annoying. One of the oldest buildings in the town, the Grade 1 listed Market Hall, built in 1627 by Sir Baptist Hicks. Its intended use was as a shelter for merchants and farmers selling their wares. During the 1940s, there was a plan to sell the hall, but locals objected and raised funds to purchase it, then donated it to the National Trust. Halfway around our walk at Chipping Camden and we stopped for lunch. The prices in the pubs are horrific. No way was I going to pay those prices. But here we are with Katie's Cafe behind me. We had a Cornish pasty and a coffee. Very, very reasonable price. Excellent service and we thoroughly enjoyed it. So well done to Katie. Halfway through the walk now, I'm going to uh, continue walking back through the town, back to the car. But to answer the question, 
Who rules Chipping Camden? Well, to be honest, I think it's the car. Car after car after car. Coming through the town, parked at the side of the roads, they certainly rule Camden. I think that's the end of my trip to Chipping Camden. And yes, the car rules. To be honest, I've been here a couple of hours and they're getting on my nerves. It's not avoiding people on the pavement, it's avoiding cars when you, you just gotta step off the pavement at times. It's, it's a tourist town and it's just solid with cars, parks and traffic. Um, yeah, but it does spoil it to a certain degree. Apart from that, Chipping Camden is a wonderful place. There's lots to see and the time flew by. <laughs>